Welcome to the Dr. Journal Club podcast, the show that goes under the hood of evidence-based integrative medicine. We review recent research articles, interview evidence-based medicine thought leaders, and discuss the challenges and opportunities of integrating evidence-based and integrative medicine. Continue your learning after the show at www.drjournalclub.com. Please bear in mind that this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Talk to your doctor before making any medical decisions, changes, etc. Everything we're talking about, that's to teach you guys stuff and have fun. We are not your doctors. Also, we would love to answer your specific questions. On drjournalclub.com, you can post questions and comments for specific videos. But go ahead and email us directly at josh at drjournalclub.com. That's josh at drjournalclub.com. Send us your listener questions and we will discuss it on our pod. Hello and welcome to another super speedy summary. This is your host, Dr. Joshua Goldenberg. So today we're going to talk about a really fun study that uh, Adam and I went over in the podcast actually a couple weeks ago and Adam turned into a really nice uh, both basic level and in-depth level Dr. Jordan Club summary video here. So the question is, is testosterone replacement therapy safe now after all this back and forth? So this is a really cool New England Journal of Medicine paper that came out in 2023. And, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm seeing, you know, tea clinics or testosterone clinics popping up everywhere. It's very, very, very common, especially for middle-aged men. Their their testosterone levels are dropping. They may be uh, symptomatic and they want to know if they can, you know, replete their testosterone. And the big question has been, you know, is that safe? Does that increase the risk of cardiovascular disease uh, in men, especially that have a high risk of cardiovascular events and or a pre-existing, cardio- a pre-existing cardiovascular disease? So that was the ultimate question. We've had sort of conflicting data back and forth from different levels of trials, and we really needed a sort of final high quality statement on the on the question here so this this was it right so this was a randomized controlled non-inferiority trial with over 5,000 men age 45 to 80 they had hypogonadism and they had pre-existing or high risk for cardiovascular disease so these are folks that you know if they walked into my office and asked for testosterone at least until recently at my eyebrows would go up and be like oh my gosh like no pre-existing cardiovascular disease like are you high risk for a heart attack you sure you want to be doing this and so they gave uh, transdermal testosterone gel to half of them and then placebo gel to the other and what they were trying to do with the non-inferiority trials really just show that there's no difference from a safety perspective to, uh, to placebo and um the this is essentially a safety trial it's not meant to show efficacy for symptom relief or anything like that it's simply meant to show does this increase your risk of cardiovascular disease and there were you know primary secondary and tertiary outcomes so watch the in-depth levels and the basic levels as well for the full details but essentially the primary outcome was it was a composite outcome uh, where they were looking at death from cardiovascular disease uh, MI that didn't kill you, um, a stroke that didn't kill you, and um, assessed in a time to event analysis. So essentially, if you had a MI or a stroke, or you died from any cardiovascular cause, that was considered a primary outcome. Makes sense. So what did they find? So um, 7% of the testosterone group and 7.3% of the placebo group went on to have one of these cardiovascular events during the outcome period. It's a hazard ratio of just under one. Essentially, there is no difference there. The p-value for non-inferiority is less than 0.001. So essentially, uh, placebo gel is non-inferior to placebo in terms of risk of developing death from cardiovascular disease or an MI or a stroke. And again, like I said, there are secondary and tertiary outcomes here as well that we go through in the basic and in-depth level video. Enjoy! If you enjoy this podcast, chances are that one of your colleagues and friends probably would as well. Please do us a favor and let them know about the podcast. And if you have a little bit of extra time, even just a few seconds, if you could rate us and review us on Apple Podcasts or any other distributor, it would be greatly appreciated. It would mean a lot to us and help get the word out to other people that would really enjoy our content. Thank you.
Hey, y'all, this is Josh. You know, we talked about some really interesting stuff today. I think one of the things we're going to do that's relevant, there is a course we have on Dr. Journal Club called the EBM Boot Camp that's really meant for clinicians to sort of help them understand how to critically evaluate the literature, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Some of the things that we've been talking about today. Go ahead and check out the show notes link. We're going to link to it directly. I think it might be of interest. Don't forget to follow us on social and interact with us on social media at Dr. Journal Club, DR Journal Club on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're on LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera. So please reach out to us. We always love to talk to our fans and our listeners. If you have any specific questions you'd like to ask us about research, evidence, being a clinician, et cetera, don't hesitate to ask. And then, of course, if you have any topics that you'd like us to cover on the pod, please let us know as well. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Journal Club podcast the show that goes under the hood of evidence-based integrative medicine. We review recent research articles, interview evidence-based medicine thought leaders, and discuss the challenges and opportunities of integrating evidence-based and integrative medicine. Be sure to visit www.drjournalclub.com to learn more.